Welcome to manipulating operator wires, references, and links. Working with Touch Center involves building networks, so let's take a look at how we can wire some operators together. Let's get started by adding some operators to our network first. I'm going to use the tab key to open up the OpCreate dialog, and I'm going to add a movie file in top here into my network. If I type in MOV, that will search for the movie file in, and I can left click on that in the OpCreate dialog and then left click again to add it to my network. I can wire operators together a number of different ways. Let's get started by just adding a level top here into our network. If I add my level top into the network, I can connect these two operators by clicking on the output from the movie file in and dragging that over to the input of the level top. I can disconnect these wires by grabbing the input to the level top and just dragging it away from the level top. I could also click on the input to the level top and drag it back to the output of the movie file in. Finally, I could disconnect these by right clicking on the wire itself and selecting disconnect. I'm going to go ahead and wire these back together and let's add a few other operators here to our network. Let's open up the OpCreate dialog. I'm going to hit tab one more time to move over to the channel operator family. I'm going to select an LFO and I want to connect this to a math top. Now, I don't want to open up the OpCreate dialog twice, so I'm going to hold down the Shift key to first add the LFO to my network. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and find the math chop, and I'm going to add that to my network as well. And finally, I want to end all of this with a null chop, and I'm going to add the null here also. Now, I'm going to click away from the OpCreate dialog, and we'll see that what's happened is that each of these operators has been added to the network for me, all connected together. Now. It also happens that all of these operators are selected, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these and move them back in the network here so that I don't have to rearrange them. Now, what I'd love to do is I would love to use this channel value, this moving value to control the opacity of my image. Now, my problem is I cannot wire a channel operator to a texture operator. So how can I make this connection work? Well, for this to work, what we're going to use is a link or a reference. Now, I'm going to grab my level top. I'm going to move that a little bit closer over here to my channel operator. And then the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to think about which parameter I want to target. Here on my level top, I can see on the post page, I have an opacity parameter. And this is the parameter that I want to control. To do that, I'm going to make the null chop viewer active by clicking on the viewer active flag. And then I'm going to left click, press and hold, and then drag this value all the way over and drop it right here onto the parameter I'd like to target and select chop reference. Let's see that one more time. I'm going to go ahead and delete that reference here. Again, I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button, holding down the left mouse button, I'm going to drag this channel all the way over to the parameter I'd like to target, and then I'm going to release it on the parameter I'd like to target. In this case, I'm going to select Chop Reference. And we can see I've now built a connection. I've built a link here from my channel operator here to my level top. Now, I don't have a negative opacity value, so in order to make a change here, I'm going to go back to my math chop, and I'm going to make an alteration to the range. Here, the range from 0 to 1, I'm going to change this from range. I can see my from range here in my LFO goes to negative 1. So I'm going to make sure that from negative 1 to 1 is now represented as from 0 to 1. This is great. I like this an awful lot. And this is a great way for me to get started here and how I'm thinking about working with both tops and chops. Let's take a look at one other example. Something else we often do here inside of Touch Designer is to work with user interfaces. I'm going to go ahead and open up the OpCreate dialog. I'm going to use Shift tab to move backwards to components, and I'm going to add a container component here into my network. Now, container components are special in that they have panels. If I right click on the container and select View, I'll have a pop up panel that I can interact with. Now, I'd like to add something into this panel that I can actually click on. So let's go ahead and hit the tab key one more time and select slider from our panel component. 
Now I'd like this slider to be here inside of my container and I can do that with the top bottom connectors. I'm going to use the bottom or the top connector for my slider and drag it up to my container. Now I can see that my slider is present here inside of my container and I can even drag that left and right to interact with that. Components have top and bottom connectors. These let us build hierarchy between our operators. This is also useful inside of 3D components when we want to build spatial relationships between different elements. This is a great way for us to think about how to get started with both operator wires and links and references.